Alrighty. Now we might get started. Archie's connection is a little bit choppy where he is at the moment, but we're going to persevere and hopefully we'll be all good. So to start off, hello and welcome everybody back to Southern Deadly Yarns. I'm Eve from Onkapringa Libraries and I'm joined by Elijah from Neferendi Aboriginal hello. Forum as always. And um, we're so honoured today to be joined by the legendary singer and now author, Archie Roach. He is a member of the, a survivor of the Stolen Generations, the 2020 Victorian of the Year, and the musical brilliance behind the song Took the Children Away, which of course he has now released a 30th anniversary edition um, in picture book format, which is just gorgeous. Um, and it's been celebrated by First Nations people in Australia and across the world. Um, so, yeah, welcome. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic to have you join us, Archie. Um, and what a yeah spectacular ar array of work you've, you've managed to compile. And it was so good hearing that, you know, Charcoal Lane's now 30 years old and it just oh, still seems like a timeless piece. But before I go too far, um, of course, it is a cultural obligation to acknowledge that we're on the lands of the Ghana people and we're broadcasting from the lands of the Ghana people today. Um, if, if people in the chat want to post where you're from, what country you're on, please feel free to do so. Um, and also that, you know, we have a very strong theme coming up for NAIDOC this year, always was, always will be. So I think it's important to take, you know, every opportunity you can to, to give an acknowledgement of country. So. Nina Mani, Nainari, Elijah Bravington, Nadalu Tampanti, Nadalu Ganayeta, and Berendi. And that's just a basic introduction to say that we're meeting on the lands of the Ghana people today um, as an Arabana man. It, it's, you know, it's, it's a cultural obligation to do these types of things. So um, before we go too far into things as well, um, Archie, did you just want to say hello to everybody? Yes, hey, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, good to see you, whoever's here today. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm talking from my, my mother's uh, country's uh, ancestral lands, the land of the Gundishmara peoples in southwest Victoria. Yeah, so uh, good to see you. So, yeah. uh, thanks so much for joining us. And um, I was just reminiscing a little bit earlier, it must have been well a few years ago now that you'd, you'd performed to um, an Apology Day breakfast here in Adelaide and and it was just a spectacular performance and you seemed just to have a way with, with the audience and, you know, it was such an intimate setting that, you know, you could almost forget that you were in a room full of 800 people and it almost felt like, we, you know, we, we were just sort of really connecting personally um and then you told some stories of, of your time in adelaide and um you know yeah. he heading across the road to um, victoria square or Tatanyanga, as it's also known as, as the local ghana language um can, can you take us for a little trip back in time um i often tend to think you know i was, I was just growing up and it was the late 80s early 90s when when you were first getting your album together, um, you, you, you were meeting your wife, and can, can you give us a bit of an insight as, as to what things were like back then? Yeah, I, um, I remember uh, first being in Adelaide, then uh, uh, just uh, come from Mildura after picking grapes, after Mildura, Victoria. And so, you know, I had a little bit of money on me, and I uh, was sitting down, I remember getting to Adelaide and sitting down, the, down by the Torrens. There was nothing there except the, except the river, the Torrens, and um, our Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, all, that's all that was there. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and, and, and of course, I eventually ended up uh, meeting people at a place called the People's Palace in uh, in, uh, in Adelaide, where the Salvation Army used to run this this place for um, people uh, who didn't love income murders, or you know, uh, so I was I was there for uh, two weeks. Uh, they booked me in there because of, uh, I didn't have anywhere to stay, and that, that's where I first met Ruby. Uh, uh, come down the stairs one day uh, after I got enough courage to 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 go out and and start meeting the local people. And, and yeah, so that's how how that, that all came to be. 
And, and uh, yeah, so I became, uh, yeah, well, one of the few people that, uh, or one of the many people actually that uh, frequented uh, Victoria Square at the time. Yeah, uh, and where people used to sit and gather and, uh, and meet. Yeah, back in those days. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I came to be in, uh, in Adelaide and uh, one of the, um, the people visiting Victoria Square every day. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was such such a, I don't know, such, such a great meeting place. And you sort of go there now and it seems to be sort of gentrified and it's yeah. you know, seems to have been turned into a dry area and people have been sort of forced out into the outskirts of town. And I don't know, the, it's a very significant place. And, of course, that was the first place where the Aboriginal flag was flown. And, you know, now they call it Reconciliation Plaza. But there's just, I don't, I don't know, it just, just seems a bit sort of, tidy and neat now and it just doesn't have that sort of I don't know those old world charms that it probably once did have no that's right it's it's uh, yeah it was, people didn't you know people just see you know, people uh, people just see see this drinking you know, and they didn't hear they didn't hear the dialogue they didn't hear what we talked about and, and uh people actually beating up with people there were instances where I saw young young people that wander in uh, from I don't know where, wherever, and meeting up, and then you know, you, know, you hear you hear uh, out, you know, uh, older women screaming and crying and grabbing these young fellas. Uh, oh, you're, you're my you're my nephew, or you're my you know you're my brother's boy, or my sister's boy, or my sister's girl, and uh, so it's places where people met, you know, and uh, and we talked about you know. And, uh, you know, other things about, you know, not just about, you know, uh, it wasn't about just about drinking. Drinking was part of it. But, but the big part of it was being together as a people, as a community. And uh, it's sad to see it the way it is now. Yeah, yeah that is a shame. Um, of course, we do have your, your book here as well. Um, show the audience. I think we've both got books here yes. today. The benefits of being at a library. <laughs> Um, wow, it, it's it's such a beautiful book. It really, really is. And then once you sort of start going through your memoirs and you, you, you get to develop more of an insight as to how important this is and how important the artwork is as well. Yeah. Um, can you... Oh, did you want to... Well, can you tell us a little bit more about the book, Archie? Um, you know, what made you decide to turn such an iconic song into a children's picture book? She, 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 she um, you know, talked about it, you know, let's that, get, a, get a book happening. And um, with a song, you know, with, uh, the lyrics for the, the song took the children. And um, but that's how, how, how we, we, we came to be, well, how we thought about it at first. And uh, of course, there's a bit more involved than that. And, uh, and from, from uh, Ruby's... Uh, from Ruby Hunter, my late my Ruby Hunter, who uh, loved the artwork, um, was done by her. And uh, I remember when we were, you know, you know uh, she was getting the artwork together. And uh, for the book, you know, way back in, you know, in 2010, and um, and so she said, "What do you think, Dad?" And I go, "It's beautiful." And so yeah, so it's also, I suppose it's also, um, uh, you know, her contribution is also a writing her her contribution as well to to to, to what she's done also through. Music and generation. Yeah. Well, well, hopefully we can lift your bandwidth a little bit. Um, we did catch a bit of that, and um, I'm looking through some of the artwork now, and it's just just magnificent. Um, this way, it's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it was 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 Ruby what always like an artist? Was she um, no. Not always. Um, 
when she, but I, I remember when she first started, we took a trip up to um, Cape York one time and uh, me and Ruby and doing, uh, writing songs with the children of uh, Cape York, uh, the communities we went to. And, uh, and she started drawing and, and painting then. And I was, I was looking at them. I didn't know you, you, you drew or, or painted. Uh, and she looked at me and said, well, there's a few things you don't know about me, Archie Roach. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, she, surprised me. she surprised me. She surprised me with that. So, yeah. And then she, she, she just started drawing and, and, and painting whenever she, Whenever she felt like it, of course. Yeah. She sounds like she was such an incredible person. And you were both survivors of the stolen generation. Why do you think it's important to keep telling that story in different ways, through song or through picture books for children? Mentioning education. Oh, look, um, it's important and through, through the education resources as well. But it's important to... Um, to um, Keep telling the story, and people people need to realise it's it's a it's not just our story, our history. It's Australian, you know, it's Australian history. It's part of Australia's history, and uh, people don't want to shy away from it and, and want to want to uh, accept uh, all the history, you know, of this country and what took place. You know, just just not what they want to 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 take from history and say, oh, this is. Yeah, Captain Cook here and, and Birkin Mills here and this and that here and and not tell the story of the stolen generation as well. This is also part of our history as well. So, you know, it's not just our history, it's Australia's history. So we need to keep telling it. And, and, and young people have to learn earlier because I remember starting off when I first started uh, singing, the song took the children away. People would come up to me and uh, say, we didn't know anything about this. And why weren't we told anything about this? And I said, well, I don't know, maybe it's, it's time. And, and like this was 30 years ago, mind you. I said, maybe maybe it's time now to to to, to start teaching it in, uh, in schools and, and younger people uh, so that they understand the, the full history. And uh, it's the only way it's going to move forward and, and people say, well, yeah, we, we can go on from here, yeah. Yeah, and you've also put together some amazing resources um, about the stolen generations. Um, and and I noticed uh, um, that there's there's some links on your, your foundation page as well. Um, did, did you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, I just don't think. I'm oh, sorry. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, I'm working with um, and, uh, ABC Education Resources and, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, and, and, um, and uh, so we, 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 uh, we're talking to other elders as well that are uh, 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 members of the Stolen Generation and uh, their story as well. But it's also about you know um, about that the story of, of being taken, but also speaking our truths and 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 and, and how we heal or, or or what we do to or or, or you know, ways of healing and uh, can be through the arts or, or, or whatever uh, and uh, so yeah so um, so hopefully that you know um, school teachers and and uh, you know. We'll be able to pick that up and and uh, you know, introduce it to 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 their students. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm often amazed as to the healing power of art, and sometimes it's not until you see it sort of happen in front of you that that you realise, wow, this is such a powerful medium, um, particularly for those for those inner workings and that healing to go on. Um, you, you seem to be such a, a staunch advocate as well and you haven't really sort of wavered and you've just sort of kept on and you've kept on powering on um do, do you know where that sort of strength comes from 
Oh, look at them. Um, yeah, it has a lot to do with people. Um, Jill, Shelton, mm-hmm. my good friend and manager, and others, friends, uh, some family. Um, but but I, you know, there's a, there's there's something about about us as as people, first nations people, that um, no matter what has happened. In the past, I'm going way back, you know, uh, talking about other things, you know, and massacres, um, all, all different sorts of things. Um, people just, um, this resilience uh, that, that we have as people uh, and uh, determined to, 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 to hold on to, to, to our culture and, and to try and teach, uh, be examples to younger younger generations uh, about you know caring and sharing for one another, and uh, that needs to keep going. And it's that strength. It's, it's knowing that that you're not alone in this world, uh, even though for when I was taken away, I thought I was for a long time, until I you know, met up with my 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 people and. It wasn't just blood relatives. It was was um, just people in the community, you know, and uh, calling uncles and aunties to people that weren't um, necessarily uh, directly related to me, uh, blood related or or any others related. But but this spiritual connection, this spiritual relationship we had with each other, and that's what that that's where it comes from. Yeah. Yeah, something that always struck me about you, Archie, especially reading your memoir, is that you don't hold any bitterness, even though your life experiences, you know, if you were bitter, mm. it would really be well justified. But, yeah, that's something that's always really struck me about you and and always moving forward onto what can, what can I do next to help? How can I next represent my people? Which brings us to the Archie Roach Foundation. Um, we know that Jack Charles is a is a um, ambassador for that one. Could you tell us more about the work that you guys do? Yeah, the, the, the foundation, Archie Roach Foundation, was set up to, to uh, walk alongside um, um, yeah, younger artists, upcoming artists, singer songwriters, uh, people that wish to work in the arts uh, one way, uh, for, uh, whether it be um, singing, uh, songwriting, uh, whatever. Uh, producing uh, shows, uh, and um, and also working in the well, the uh, so-called youth justice uh, space, and and trying to 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 get involved with that, and going in and 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 just um, trying to do what we can to 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 um, stop this rotating uh, door, this this this. Uh, system where, where where people just are in and out and just going around and around in circles like it's uh, like it's normal and it's not you know so so that as well so that, that's what the foundation is set up for uh and uh no it's a very noble cause and uh, and i think too you know if, if we do have good development programs people can break those cycles and it's not just you know, looking at this issue and thinking, oh, it's just a crime issue and we've got to be tough on crime to try and solve these things. It's, you know, we've got to be a bit more, I don't know, a bit more educated about how we approach things and how we can, you know, intervene, particularly in early people's lives to say, look, this is, you know, this is the path you might be heading down, but here's another option. And um, and it's amazing to see some, some young artists as well that... Um, that, that have been recognised through the foundation. I think, it, you know, it's a great point for them to leverage off as well and be able to make a good living for themselves. Um, we'll, we'll probably have to cut soon, um, but I was, yep. um, I always have this fascination about, you know, when, when you sort of mature in your age and you can look back at yourself and there's some beautiful pictures of you, of, of you and your wife and there's these, like, there's this this lovely picture of um, I don't know if you can still see that sort of clearly or not, but 
yeah. that, that sort of younger Archie with this sort of this, this look in his eye and he's got this glint and he's very handsome. He's a handsome <laughs> man, yeah. Um, can, can you tell us a little bit about um, what it's like to be able to look back through your life and your life's work? Oh, look, it's, 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 um, it, it's, it's great, you know, there's parts of my life you know, through the book, my memoir, that, you know, it was hard to look back on. But I had to look back on that as well to 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 be honest and truthful in, in that memoir in that book. Uh, but since you know, um, since we sort of straightened myself out, you know, and got things together, and and uh, it's good to look back at that 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 point in time to realise that you saw it was a bad start, but gradually I I, I come good, you know. And, and it's good to see that transition from 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 where I started to to where I am now, and when I started to come good, and uh, it's helped me a lot through the years, and especially talking to other people that are you know going through similar things that I I went through, uh, because they say, well, look, you know, uh, I had a bad, bad start, but you know, uh, I come good, and and and. You know, it's good to look back at that part when you started, that transition when you started to get better and, and what it was uh, that, that, that helped you uh, get better. And uh, so, yeah, and uh, music, um, uh, relationships, uh, friends, and, and, and all, every, everything that, 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 that uh, contributed to, to, to you coming, uh, getting better and... Uh, and moving on with your life and and uh yeah so 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 yeah i didn't mind uh, i didn't mind looking back at that yeah no oh, it's beautiful mm. now i know that you have just released this beautiful book which of course is available from archie's online store there'll be a link in the chat so um be sure to check it out and that supports the archie roach foundation as well so not to rush straight onto the next project archie but what is next for you what have you been working on yeah. Yeah, well, the, the young the young people's edition of my memoir, where it's sort of like it's a little different. We make it sort of more accessible and more, I suppose, uh, easier or friendlier uh, for younger people to 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 read that because there's some heavy stuff in in that memoir, and, and you know you need to sort of make it a bit gentler for for younger people to. Yeah, yeah, to 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 um, get into that, and also the songwriting project where our younger people are uh, musicians, uh, singer songwriters, or or just people that are responding to the song took the children away, and uh, and how and people who already sent me lyrics that they've written um, are responding to 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 took the children away. The song and it's quite amazing. So that that's that's been great too. It's a foundation project. It's a foundation project, of course. Well, you're a busy man. <laughs> no, and, and what a legacy as well. And even just to see, um, you know, Adam Briggs um, come out with with his track as well, and um, in his book. And yeah. I, I get the feeling you must have inspired a lot of people over the years. Hi, Archie. Are you still there? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not really sure what's happened to Eve. I've just tried to ring her. Um, she seems to have frozen. Um, do you think it's possible that you can sing your song? Okay. Excellent. Can you hear that? Yeah. Stories like the story's true. I would not tell that I the promises they did not keep. And how they fenced us in like sheep. They said to us, come take a hand. 
Send us up on mission and day. Cut us to read, to write and to pray. Then they took children away, children away. Children away. Snatched on their mother's breast. Said this is for the best. Took them away. Well, there and the policemen. But they said you got to understand. We're gonna give them. What you can't get. And teach them how to really live. And teach them how to live. They said, humiliated. Them instead, they taught them that. And taught them this. And that was taught them. this. It took the children away. The children away. Breaking our mother's heart. To bring us all apart. Took them away. One dark day on family hand. Well, they came and did not give a damn. And my mother cried, go get their dad. He came running but me. Mother's tears, they were falling down. And my dad shaved up. He stood his ground and he saved them uh -oh. to fight me. Then they took us to my family, took us away. So they took us away. Breaking our mother's heart, tearing us all up.
yes, I can. Hey. Take care of yourself. Stay well and healthy. Happy night, love. Yes. Always was, always will be.